Hello, so I made a video recently showing how to render videos in 4K, however that method didn't seem to work for everybody, so I've got another method that at least works for me and so it should work for you too. Now before I start, bear in mind this isn't a 4K video, this is only 1080p, but it does render in 4K, and the reason for that is, is that I don't have access to any 4K footage. I did try rendering something in Blender, but for some reason Blender files aren't compatible with this, I need to work out how to convert those, I'll save that for another video in the future. What's important now is that this does work so what we want to do first of all is go into this here which is your project video settings and I would say whilst editing the video keep this at 1080 or even 720 if you want and then once finished editing everything we want to go back into the project properties and we want to set this to 4096 by 2304 okay and then we can save this if you want as let's say 4k 60 fps okay and if you want to know what all these properties do I have a video about that which I will put a link to in the description and then we just press ok bear in mind my screen's resolution isn't big enough to see that it says ok at the bottom but you know if just press ok when you see it or apply and then ok I've just selected tab and I'm gonna press enter and there we go the video properties are now in 4k Okay, so with the video properties changed, what we want to do is go into File, wait for it to fucking stop crashing. Once File has decided to open, go into Render As, and we want to go into Formats here and click on Windows Media Video. Um, we'll click on, well any of these really, but just to be safe, we'll click on 8 MBPS HD 1080 30p video and click on Customize Template. Okay, it'll open up the audio options, we don't need this, so we'll go into to video and we want to leave these two as they are we want to set pixel aspect ratio to a thousand square i don't know why it isn't always that seconds per keyframe we'll set that to two override default compression buffer let's just leave that as it is and video smoothness once it's finished crashing we'll set that up to 100 sharpest okay select frame rate 59 double NTSC and then the most important part is image size we'll click on this and we want to go to custom and again we put in the same dimensions as earlier 4096 by 2304 okay and then we'll go up to the top here and let's just save this as 4k 60 fps and then click ok i already have one that's called this so it'll bring it up with a little asterisk at the top here click on the pink star so that you can always find it as you can see i have probably far too many now and that's it then we want to click render bear in mind it will take a lot longer to render with these dimensions this is a 20 second video it takes my computer an hour typically to render this also bear in mind my computer is terrible it's running an eight-year-old GPU, so maybe this won't be such a problem for you as it is for me. Okay, and there we go. With that rendered, all we have to do is upload it to YouTube, and you just do that in the normal way. And as you can see, there we go, 4K is now available. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you. And as I said, I will try to do a video on converting files that don't work in Sony Vegas. So, I don't know, stay tuned for that or whatever. Alright, bye.